Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, in this video, I wanted to show you how to get Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition on Steam working. And uh, basically, what I have found was that uh, when you tried to launch Fallout 3 Game of the Year on Steam, what would happen is you would basically bring up the launcher and you would get this little launcher, you could change your settings to whatever you wanted, but you would never be able to actually launch the game. What would happen is you would actually end up clicking play and the game would just not launch. It would just take you back to your Steam library and it would just leave it like that. Like no game would launch, which is a problem, especially if you bought this game. And... Um, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to fix that. Uh, there are there have been many updates on Windows uh, that have caused these problems, and uh, what I have found is that many old games don't tend to run optimally anymore. They either bug out, fail to launch, like Fallout 3, or just simply lag. Uh, which I found with uh, uh, Borderlands Game of the Year Enhanced Edition. And uh, it's just, it's just not, it's not good when your games lag like that. So here uh, you can use this method to fix that. So first thing, first thing that you want to do is you want to start up your Fallout 3. Now you won't be able to get quite you won't be able to get that far with this, but what you do want to do is you just want to launch the launcher of Fallout 3. So now that you're here, you want to right click on your taskbar and open open up task manager. Now here we have task manager open. Over here you want to search for the game that you're looking for or application. So in this case it's Fallout 3, so Fallout just search for that and we can already see it. Now uh, we're just trying to find the location, the file location of this application. So you want to right click, don't don't right click on this one, right click on the one on the top. So you right click on the one at the top and you go to open file location. You click on that and it's going to hover over this application that you're using. So right now we know that it is the Fallout 3 launcher that we're looking for. So you want to right, you want to click on the top here, right click on this, click on copy, close this now that you have the file location copied. So you close this, you can minimize this, you don't really need it right now, you can exit out of this, and then you want to go to NVIDIA control panel. So now we just click on that, and we just let it launch. So here we are. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to click on Manage 3D Settings. This is under the 3D Settings uh, drop down. So click on Manage 3D Settings. Over here, you'll see Global Settings and Program Settings. Click on Program Settings. And uh, now this is where we want to add the Fallout 3 launcher. So you want to click on Add, click on Browse, and then you want to click on the top here, minus it away. You can see I've already double checked before I made this video. You want to right click, paste this in, and then you want to click on this right arrow. So just click on it. This will take you to the location you're looking for. So uh, if I were to just, if I were to have this PC open, just to show you that it works, I minus this, I right click here, I paste this here, and I click on the right arrow. This takes me to the location that I'm looking for. You can do this for any game. Uh, so what we want to deal with first is we want to deal with the Fallout 3 launcher. We click on the Fallout 3 launcher, we click open, and then we are given this. Now this is what we want. Over here you want to, uh, by the select the preferred graphics processor for this program, you want to click on this, 
drop down and select high performance NVIDIA processor. Now, I am not sure if this problem is uh, faced on AMD graphics cards. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, if so, then you would probably have to use an AMD control panel if there is one. But for this, what we need to do is we need to go to Open GL Rendering GPU. We click on this and we change this from use global setting, we change it from use global setting to NVIDIA GeForce RTX and then your graphics card number, which in this case mine is the RTX 4060. So you just click on that and you would say, uh, you would click on apply. There we go. So OpenGL rendering GPU is set to RTX 4060. Here we go. Um, the other thing you can do is you can see, you see vertical sync, you want to turn that off. This is especially important to turn off for your older games. So now that this is turned off, so just, you want to leave it off. Sorry, I just scrolled and then it changed it, but you want to leave that off and that off. Now you just, uh, well, you want to leave this off and this, the, this your graphics card, click apply. Now that that's done, the next thing we want to do is we want to click on add again, browse. Okay. You want to paste your URL or your file location of the application you want to change. Click on this right arrow, find the app you want to change. So for this, because we've got to launch it, we, we just want to change both just in case. So we click on Fallout 3. Click on open and then for uh, Fallout 3, what you want to do is, sorry, I just changed this. I'm not supposed to change that. So what you want to do is you want to click up here, change it from use global setting to high performance in video processor. Okay. You want to scroll down, find the open GL rendering GPU. Change this from use global setting to NVIDIA GeForce RTX. Scroll down. Make sure that vertical sync is off. After this is changed and this is changed, you want to click on apply. There we go. It's, it is applied now. And you just click on the X. You can exit out of this now. You can exit out of this too. You can do this with other games as well. I found it to be useful with uh, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, Castle Minus Z, and uh, Rush Rally 3. Okay, but after you have done that, you just click on play. Here we go. It will give you all of these little notifications. You just click on OK and OK. You want to make sure that the settings are the settings that you like. It doesn't matter, you can change them later. Here we go. All of this is perfect. We're good here. You just click on play. And now the game actually launches, which is great. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed, well, found this video useful. I hope you found it beneficial, and uh, I hope you managed to make use of this method of fixing games in many other games. So uh, have a great have a great day and have a great rest of your year. See you guys.